Hello everyone, welcome to the return of This Is Your Game. I see a lot of people in chat right now. I see Dibby, I see Immortal Luna, I see Babblefaff, I see Mothua, I see Pro Joe, I see... Who else do I see? I see Various JG and Fieri Squirrel as well. Hello everyone. Fieri Squirrel, thank you very much for that host as well. We are... I see Beats87 coming in as well. We're back folks. How are we doing? And Barmies has arrived. Hello all. What are you doing? I thought everyone would be watching football. Uh well guys, we're back. And over the next four weeks, we've got a great lineup. We've got Sukonami coming up next week. We got Projo the week after. And we got Lossy the week after that. What a lineup. And we're kicking things off with a bang today with the wonderful quotey. I'm going to bring on right now. Am I live? You are live, Am Cody. I here? She oh my is God. here. Hello. <laughs> hello, everybody. And hello, Snake. Hello. I was um, I was saying to my hubby that I was going upstairs to go on stream with Snake. And do you know what he said? What did he say? He said, Snake? 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 Snake! Yeah. And I was very proud of him. I was very proud of him indeed. He knows his lore. So long, mm -hmm. lot. Hello, uh, DB. Oh, thank you for that host as well. Uh, so, I'm so excited. Before we get into all the exciting bit, let, let's hear about you first. Quoty, oh, me. Who are you? I get to talk about me. This yeah, you is get so to talk exciting. About you. I love talking about me. Um, hello, I'm Quoty. I'm also Hattie. You can call me Hattie. That's fine. That's fine. Also, um, I am a teacher, illustrator, streamer. Um, I'd call myself a variety streamer, although at the moment I am exclusively playing Minecraft because I have a problem. Um, and I stream um, like gaming content and occasionally art content, although not so much at the moment. Um, and I also have an illustration business on the side as well, um, which I love. Which, a by lot. the way, I have. <gasps> a sticker. Oh, you have stuff. I, I feel like it, does it go that way? I feel like probably that way, but I kind of like this way because then. That looks like it's like a going like. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah, no, it does. It looks like it's going. Oh. Yeah, so I've been having it like that way. It hasn't found its place yet, but I feel like it may end up on like a guitar or something. Uh, oh my god! Yes, please. Well, it's vinyl too, so. Yeah. It'll last a bit longer because I usually do um, biodegradable, recyclable paper stickers, well, which it... are great, but like not for hard use. Hard it, use. It will go in a guitar, and the next music video, it'll have its own. Like... <gasps> shot uh yes anyway i'm talking about me i'm, I'm not here to talk about me no but that's really exciting that's that's talking about me uh, under the guise of talking about you basically like because that's my lgbt cutie sticker although he's not for sale anymore i i give them away to people that i like basically go and buy some stuff from her because uh for god's sake uh but yeah <laughs> second question i guess then mm. twitch twitch why twitch why here why you? Why here? What brought you here? Um, I really like the sound of my own voice. Like, a lot. <laughs> that helps. That, that does help. Um, and I really like... Um, well, I mean, I've been having a camera pointed in my face since I was born, because my dad's like a photography expert person. Um, and also just like a... used to be a tech reviewer, like a, a game reviewer, but also like a tech reviewer, and he still is. Um, and so I've been like surrounded by new technology, new games, computing, all that stuff all the time. And we were right in there at the beginnings with things like YouTube and stuff. Even Vimeo actually to, to a point where people were talking to you about the stuff that they were interested in. And it was like having a virtual friend. Um, and with the last year as well, and with me being kind of an introverted extrovert and working in the industry that I did, I was like, I need to make some friends who are like on the same page. And so if I do Twitch, then I can put myself out there, but like filter in who comes to me. So they'll all be the kinds of people that like the stuff I like. And so when I say the snake thing, people know it's a Metal Gear Solid reference and I'm not just sat in a room full of like normies who don't know what I'm talking about. And if they don't so know the reference, then you know to show them the just, door. Yeah, just, ew. Bye. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's a friend making exercise, if, if nothing else. So how did you come across this platform then? Because I've been here since Justin TV. I've been here a long time, but I only mm -hmm. started streaming 
uh, last year. Uh, so how long have, have you been here? Not necessarily as a streamer, but as a, a consumer. We were talking about Booth earlier, who is also oh, amazing. I love Booth. Uh, I'm just obsessed with her so much. <laughs> I believe she's still a member of the Yogs cast. Possibly. Yeah, she is. I don't, they have this weird thing, because I've been in the Yogs cast since they were Ye Olde Goon Squad, which is what Yogs stands for, when they were doing all the podcasts and stuff, and then they did the Warhammer stuff. And I think they changed it up a few years ago where they were like, YouTube isn't making us the same cash anymore, so we're going to diversify and we're going to go over to Twitch, and they started accruing people that were already on the platform, I think. Okay. So I think it's like, she's not like Yogs cast only. I think she's like Boof, and then she's like a member yeah. as well yeah yeah so i don't know i don't know what they're calling it because i don't know if they've actually come up with a name but i think like affiliation is quite cool because then you can have you can still have your own thing instead of your own brand but be them that's my dream actually Being hey yogscast. Yogscast. okay so <laughs> anyone from the yogscast if you end up watching this or you're watching it for goodness now, sake hire me i've been hire. here since the beginning that way that way that way yeah, camera slipped that way uh, yeah. hire quote uh, hire me for god's sake yeah, when did you uh, fall into this uh, platform black hole, Ooh. I guess? Um, my sister was streaming, I want to say, about eight years ago. Um, and I used to watch her stuff. But there wasn't like... It was a more intimidating platform back then. I don't know about you, but for me it was quite... I like... never used to chat apart from like a few, yeah. few channels. It uh, just felt a bit like... It wasn't like an MSN chat room where you just get stuck in. It was, it just felt a bit more like... It was quite hardcore you... back then as well. Like, it was mm. very much like, it was either esports, uh, like StarCraft, yeah. which was huge. Yeah, oh my god. Or it was like, shows like Man vs. Game, Dan's Gaming, but mm -hmm. they were like the big ones. Uh, and even it, though they were friendly, right it was like super like hardcore gamers. Now I feel like it's it's just become bigger than what it started out to be. It's what um, uh, ContraPoints um, sort of like kindly re refers to as pleb tier casuals, um, <laughs> which I would count myself among. Um, but then I realised that sometimes when I'm talking, I, I guess I'm not in that. I might even be like somebody who knows a, a few things about games, which is fucking terrifying. Because well, <laughs> about... I'm like, oh no, what if I actually do know things about games? Well, speaking about games, uh, well. This is a, a retro game show, I guess. So, what it's got you exciting. into games? What, what got you into? My birth. Your um, birth. My dad. Yeah, my dad's been reviewing games since the eighties. So when I was born, we had all of the consoles and the like handhelds and things. Um, so I've just been playing them since literally since I could since I could hold a controller. Um, so it's never not been a thing for me. Yeah. I think a lot of other people didn't have that exposure until they were a bit older. But well, like... With myself, uh, I got a hand-me-down console because uh, oh, cool. my sister got a Mega Drive and like had <gasps> it for like a, oh. a little bit, and then she was like, "Okay, I'm not a gamer." I miss the cartridges though. There you go. Yeah, having to blow the cartridge oh. and all that stuff, which I, I hear is like actually really bad. Clack. Yeah. Yeah, it was super bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, particulates and whatnot, but the um. Oh, just the the feel of them, the size of them as well. Like they're so. They think about the N sixty four cartridge as well. Like, they're so big. Yeah. And you're just like clunk. And the load oh. times and everything. Oh and my you god. Just, like, sit there and like, particularly with Mega, <gasps> Mega Drive wasn't too bad, at it, but I just remember with the Mega Drive particularly like uh, Super Hang On and Columns. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, their own version of Tetris. And, and so of course like, Sonic can't... and stuff. Yeah, I can't remember whether it was the Mega Drive or it was the Master System that had my favourite Ghostbusters game on it. I think it might have been the Mega Drive, possibly. Yeah, it was I'd... the one where all the cases were like white and they had a blue check print on them, like Ooh. on the back, and then they had like the little label on the front which told you what game it was. That was the one that had my Ghostbusters game and like Alex Mack, not Alex Mack, Alex that, Kid. That might have been the Master oh. System because the Mega Drive yeah. parts were black, I believe. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, of course they were. Yeah, yeah. And then they had the slip sleeve in the front. Uh, I always get those two mixed up. So always. I suppose we've been rambling about who you are and Twitch and all <laughs> this good stuff. Hello, Cactus. Welcome in. You're a beautiful <gasps> people. You're be Hello, lovely Cactus. You are beautiful people. So also, guys, second show. I'm doing a second stream tonight with Cactus. We're talk talking bollocks, talking BS, 
through yes. the Microsoft conference be there. Uh, but back to the show right now. <laughs> Quothy, you have picked a game called Day of the Tentacle today for your favourite game. So <clears throat> we'll, we'll, we'll go in depth in the game. Just give us kind of a quick little why is this your, your game? Um, I love point and click. I also love um, games that are unapologetically ruthless in making you work something out. Like no hints whatsoever, just like figure this out, mate. To the point where you could literally just never have ever finished the game because you don't realize that you have to combine some chewing gum with a chair leg. Uh, moon logic, I believe they call it in the. Uh, it's brilliant. In the point and click game family. Uh, um, and it's just bizarre and funny. And it's one of LucasArts' like, best, yeah, it, best games. I was reading up about the game a little bit. Uh, Tim Schafer worked on it, who went on to do Psychonauts mm -hmm. and all those other fantastic games <gasps> he's worked on. I love Psychonauts as well. It's a really good game. Great game. Uh, yeah. But this was from a time where, if, if you weren't aware, LucasArts, uh, George Lucas made this video game company and was strict about no Star Wars. Or, you know, they didn't want to mm -hmm. rely on... The licenses of Lucasfilm, uh, so they got people like Tim Schafer to come on and uh, make Curse of Monkey Island and oh. uh, all these fantastic, and, and they were like a big powerhouse in the point and click genre. Mm -hmm. And then later on, they started getting the license stuff. Uh, but early yeah. era Lucas Arts is, is I've only played Secret of Monkey Island myself, but this era is 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 well for video game fans is yeah. It's yeah. premium. Yeah. It's up there. Premium content. So we're mm -hmm. going to switch over to the game now. So I'm, I'm so stop excited. This music. And we're going to play uh, Day of the Tentacle. I've actually been doodling it all this week. I've been drawing the characters. Really? You're going to have to <laughs> yep. show us that. Oh, quickly. You miss a line down here. Oh, no. Oh, the fun of live streaming. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, you see my streams, right? Where I just got like... <laughs> I'm like, excuse me guys, I'm just going to have to live edit my screen. Just give me like 10 minutes. Six. Disaster averted. Uh, so yeah, we're in... Uh, Day of the Tentacle now. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, this is the remastered version. It's available on Games Pass as well. For, <laughs> so for anyone with a Games Pass membership, uh, you can get it for free, currently. Uh, you lucky things. So I guess we're going to go into a new game. Uh, we don't want the developer's commentary. We no, we're good to. Quoties commentary. <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. It makes my heart all warm. Just watching it. I'll try not to quote the entire thing. Oh, go for it. Go for it. We, we want... <laughs> there he is. He's my boy. I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks oh. bad for you. I love nonsense. him so much. It makes me feel great. <laughs> I say uh, nonsense uh, like that. More I love the animation <laughs> and art style already. The music. Mm -hmm. I feel it's like all I just could. perfect. Like I could. <laughs> yes, Babblefaff. Her, her stickers and stuff are great. Like I, I really like the retro the Game Boy ones. They're great. More oh. coming. More coming. Ooh. Mm, we've got some designs in the works, yo. Very exciting. <gasps> Take <all> the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I drew him like that. He's like, <laughs> I love purple tentacle. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Those references, Hands though. Off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard. He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's almost got like an early Kevin Smith type of humour, hasn't it? In, in yeah. The, how it's, it's from my old friend, the Tentacle. 
He says that purple it's very like sincere. Yeah. Like none of them are being sarcastic when they're talking. They're re they're all all the characters are really sincere in themselves, but the stuff they say is like like Hoagie saying, "Oh, we can know you know we can actually use this to bite its head off for like the show." <laughs> but now I know that I must go back to the mansion. Yeah, because this is a, a sequel. Oh, okay. So I think it's called Maniac Mansion. I honestly have never played yes, it. Yes, Salam Day of the is Ten talking about Maniac Mansion, actually, saying yeah, it's the... unforgiving. Yeah, Day of the Tentacle is the one, though, because it's the one I played first. So I never got around to it, because it's just too good. Oh, I tell you what it reminds me of. One of my first point-and-click adventures when I was, like, four. Um, I think it's called Putt-Putt. Yeah, Putt Putt, that's what it's called. Putt. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Like that kind of um, design where everything's a little bit skewed. So, like, it doesn't look realistic. It's all sort of, even the moon's like sort of pulled out. Oh, Joe knows. I love it. Joe knows about Putt Putt. Putt Putt. It's why my first car, car was called Putt Putt. But he also made a Putt Putt noise. Because he was an old car. So he was on his last legs. I imagine this car makes a put put noise with. Yep. Yep. I, I love the bendy kind of wacky art style. I, I don't know, mm -hmm. there's probably a name for this type of art, but. Uh... Oh, there most definitely is, but what it is, I yeah. have no idea. But yeah, it's all like the proportions are really strange. But like everybody has their own individual proportions as well. Like Animaniacs so, and that kind of nineties Warner Brothers yeah. cartoon. There was an amazing actually documentary about Lilo and Stitch, like the behind the scenes thing, where they were talking about character design and like loading characters in certain areas. So like in Animaniacs, it's like um, they've got jelly inside them, and when they move, all of the jelly goes from one side of them into the end of their hand, their hand gets really big on that side and they get really thin on the other side to show like, kind of like, thwacky kind of elastic movement. Commando style. Laverne, it's so cool. You go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here. Oh, Bernard. What are we looking for? We've got I, just I also have a thing for Hoagie, I'm not gonna lie. Hello, Here's my type. Will not take too long. I've got Cresty. Final tomorrow. Well, I've got <laughs> I have no audio, but I'm here for you. <laughs> if I'm late, I don't get a test of drums. <laughs> oh, and Nuka. Hello, Nuka. Hello, He's lovely got the Nuka. He's tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Mm, where indeed? I know. <laughs> I can't help you with a lot of it though, because I, you know what my memory's like. But I know where his lab is. Uh, Ush, can we pick it up? Yeah, I, I feel like oh no, the, floor. the dime is stuck. Mm, it is. <laughs> I love it. Look at the that perspective of the room as well. Yeah, it, it's it's so like. There's a uh, uh, oh, beautiful that Nickelodeon show. What was it called? Our Real Monsters. I just remember that. Our Real Monsters. Oh my god. It was really, really Had a lot good. of. That was um. Oh my god. The same guys that did Rugrats, right? Yeah, it was. Oh but it was kind of. It, it was almost a similar but different art style. It was super. Yeah, it was super like um, messy and kind of grunge, like in comparison. But it is that kind of wonky, perspective stuff. Um, like Mark Mothersbaugh kind of stuff. It's Mar like Mark Mothersbaugh. Who else was it? Oh my god! Gee, my dad Fred loves his music. Look, you know you said no Star Trek, uh, Star Trek, Star Wars. Look. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say if we have a look at it. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I always Sleek do that to myself? I'm both a fan of Star Wars oh, no, and Star I'm Trek fine. and always, oh. always call them each other's names. I could never get into Star Trek. Luna's really into it, but I could never... 
I think it's one of those things that you had to be Dr. there. Fred wearing a powdered wig. I mean, it was always Star Wars. Handsome in a way. And mm. but I'm glad he what I find quite interesting about George off. Lucas, anyway, uh, is when he hired Tim Schafer, he hired him. Uh, I'm not sure if Tim Schafer had put a game out before now, but obviously he just hired him for like his amazing artistic skills and all that. Mm. And it kind of reminds me of when he hired uh, Dave Filoni, who did the Avatar show for Nickelodeon. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. And then got him to work on all the, the cartoon Star Wars stuff, and eventually now he's like doing all the Mandalorian. It's like, I think, I feel like George Lucas doesn't get the reputation he deserves. I mean, we're going off on a bit of a tangent yes. now, but no, god, I no, feel no. like he deserves such a. For what he did for, for the industry rather than. I feel like yeah. a lot of times it's just like, oh, he did those terrible covering that Star Wars prequels. And, oh, you know. yeah, people focus far too much on the films that under his sort of like name and but, don't look at what he's done for people in the industry like how he's elevated Hoagie's people in the industry the got that part of the house. i mean he helped fund was it photoshop was it john noel i think came up for photoshop while working Hoagie's at i'm not entirely sure Hoagie's but i wouldn't put it past him and pixar as well he was responsible mm -hmm. for that I'm, I'm confused already now we can't go upstairs Can we look at the grandfather oh, clock there's something funny about that clock <laughs> Nice. Open it. Aha! A secret passage. This is all Ta -da. too easy. <laughs> yeah, him saying it's all too easy is all too easy for him to say. But shit, the first time I played this, I didn't even look. Yeah, didn't even touch that clock. Been get up stars? Ten minutes trying to find it. <laughs> Am I upstairs? I got lost. Oh, Lavern. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good Good news, everyone! Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. The voice good acting is told us so that. good. Yeah, Excellent, isn't it? Set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you uh. say, Bernard? Okay, yep. you're free to go. Oh dear. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, yep. thank you, naive human. <laughs> now I can finish taking over the world. Ah, oh, purple. <laughs> Wait! I love him so much. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Yeah. <laughs> he is. <laughs> He's a, a tentacle bit of bent on world domination. Mutant tentacle do. Oh. Leaping labrats. Dr. Fred. Leaping labrats. I like the way he rolls his R's as well. Yeah. Now purple tentacle is free. I love him so much. I love this whole flipping game, damn it. This is why it's my favorite game. Oh, Moth. Whoops. Lewd in chat Our as always. <gasps> Wait. My magic I've never have thought that Quoty was so into tentacles. Moth, it's me, babe. <laughs> How are you surprised? Purple specifically. You could say she's a sucker from. Oh, beats. Come on now. Leave it. Keep it classy, folks. Keep it classy. <laughs> it's got to go on YouTube. Bernard. God's sake. <laughs> Early nineties Nickelodeon's cartoons were awesome. Oh. That was that was the day. Aren't they making a new regret? It won't be the it won't be right though. You can't remake this stuff though, right? You know. I've seen some regrets in the, when it was on uh, Netflix. I think like a year mm. or so ago. I watched them again. I was like, this is aged so well. Like it looks great. Well, this is what this is why that era of cartoons was so good because they made it appropriate for the adults who are watching it with the kids as well. Whereas now a lot of the cartoons and stuff is just like horrible child pandering, Bernard, so it's just like kind of babyish. So Whereas if you watch it as an adult, you're like, ah. I, I, see that I always joke. have a problem with like kids about... TV kind of. Mm. Kids aren't stupid. <laughs> That's just no. Like, treat them and. I tell you what, there was this one, um, it's got like a giant bunny in it, I think it's called Ping or Bing or something, and then it has a tiny bunny rabbit that's apparently like its parent, tiny thin bunny rabbit, 
and all the children are like massive and all the parents are like teeny weeny and um he literally has like a strop the whole episode is him having a strop about something and then them giving into the strop and like it being great and i was like this is horrible it's like watching it with my nephew and i was like stropping does not get you what you want i, I swear like to god they're not scary as well like i remember there was that one episode mm. the regrets where it was like a clown robot oh my god yeah it's horrifying oh. like, Oh, even like, okay, so maybe it wasn't supposed to be for my age group, but like the Ren and Stimpy era of cartoons. Yeah. I mean, there's one in the day. Well, maybe not the day. Maybe it was like eight o'clock. But still, I remember that. I remember that being, you know, and the Batman, terrifying. The Batman show they did, that was like kind of not mm -hmm. Tim Burton's Batman, but definitely like inspired. Dark Batman. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Now they're like. Hey, we're going on an adventure to build a slide. Let's take an hour to do it. And like, ask the kids what a shovel is called. It's so inane and boring. Uh-oh. In their Porter Johns. I will! As soon as I get a new diamond, then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and <laughs> plug them in. <laughs> Where is Hoki going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Right. Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented Puzzle solving. Then, won't he? They're setting it up. Now, where yep. did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't flush him. With details, boy. Seriously, Let's flush him. Find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now I love what it. am I going to do? I guess we're going to go and find the plans. I think I made mm. myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step yep. three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. I love his voice. Uh, I yep. hope that whoever voiced that person, I hope he got lots of roles and paid well. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope he got like very generously reimbursed for his excellent voice acting. I'm surprised I ever got out of there alive. Oh yeah, the... he is literally like that crazy scientist that just bumbles stuff together. I mean, he made tentacles what? for Christ's sake, like just would I want to sentient, down the singular tentacles. You flushed it because it'll go to them, you big donut. <laughs> God damn uh, it, Bernard. I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. To do list. Let's have a look at the to do list. It's Step one. Designed for a super Get plans. It's capable oh. of storing up to one gigabyte. That's the plans. Charging time of only Is that it? I think seconds. so. We gotta get the plans. Wow. We went on a tangent about kids' TV, and I think we may have. Wait, but is that the plans though? I've got the plans. Oh, we've got the plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall. Because he goes upstairs yeah. and it's like a massive wild goose chase and I remember running around for like real time an hour and then them just being like there and him being like where are the plans? Flush them. Yes. Down the toilet. No, through time. Mm. Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects uh, to each other through time. He clarifies, because I was like, couldn't you just flush, flush yourself? Small inanimate objects to each other through time. Uh, chicken, the alerts are not set up on this. Hello? Can someone uh, refund chicken, Dr. please? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Luna's oh, gonna no. hate me because right. Luna was like, remember to disable the channel points when you do the podcast. No. Let's see. We get an angry message later. On. Oh dear. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> oh, Your money's no good here, chicken. Also, hello, chicken. Yeah, that's the angry face from Ch Luna. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, I have to boot Luna. Boop. I want you to pick up those plans you see. Luna always boops me. Oh, Luna is the uh, queen of the boop. Yeah. That was a little boop just for you, honey buns. 
Hello, chicken as well. Bit hungover. But well, hopefully we can provide a calming show. Bit hungover. See, I've, I didn't know whether I was going to drink or no. But I've got my Rio and then I've got my White Claw ready to go. I may even have a Bloody Mary. Does he have any experience mm. with electronics? Mm. Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000... It's great for people that just can't handle liquor. Because it settles your belly. I think well, it's been about... Yeah, it's probably passed that, actually, my anniversary of sobriety. Time of, like... to save the world, <gasps> Wait, so oh. like a year? Like five, or longer than a year? Five years, <gasps> maybe? Wow! I think it's about five years. 2016. That's amazing! Uh... And I used, well, to, actually, I, used I, to suppose... like, I used to remember the day, and now I'm just like, it was at some point in 2016. Mm. It gets like that with certain anniversaries, though, don't you find? Yeah. Like, the longer you leave them, you're like, eh. Huh. Well, your brain's just like, I'm not holding on to this crap. I don't need it. I don't need it. Apart from if you have a wedding anniversary, then you absolutely need to remember that. Which I didn't. Huh. Whoops. Door to be locked. Was someone in trouble? No, because he forgot to. Oh, okay. That's all good then. <laughs> a mutual forgetting. Yeah, we're not. Um, I mean, we buy each other prezzies and tell each other we love each other like every day. So it's like, what do I need to have a day where we're like, ah. That equals it is, then, doesn't it? Yeah, like this amount of time has passed since we did that legal thing that gives us a slip of paper that makes our names the same. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine. All oh. Mine. I am so in love with the art style of this game. I think I may actually end up completing this off stream. Yeah, it's really, really fun, honestly. And it's such a good kind of like a lazy Sunday kind of game. Like if you just want something to chill out to that's silly, you can just do that and just play this game. Like it's not gonna, it's not so hard that it's gonna piss you off, but it's like challenging enough that you're not gonna fall asleep. One of my favorite things in point and click games is just clicking the investigate button on like Oh, I know. I hear you. Also, you'll love this, but Ooh, Booth played this back in the day. Did she? Yeah, when she had blonde hair. In her blonde hair days. She looked so much better ago. with black hair. A while ago, yeah, it was it? a long time ago. Mm. Uh, She's got a good fringe game too. For the new people joining, we were professing our love for <laughs> Booth from the Yogg's cast earlier. Uh, Pre-stream and they bled yeah. into stream. Uh, yeah. How can just... it not? I've got a lot to say about it. If you don't know both, I'll just quickly shout her out. Not that she needs my shout out, uh, but dude, she had five. She had no. She had six hundred and fifty-two people on her stream earlier, myself included, and you. Then I don't know if you you went on before, were you? But you were like on today. No, I was like, watching her today. play Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, same. I, I just mm. lurk in the channel because there's new people it makes me feel like... she was talking to me she <laughs> she does that occasionally and i was like <laughs> i try not to find girl and be like i bloody love you she'd be like what a weirdo fully what a weirdo i love the book crack by the way when you get to oh the i park. know yeah mm -hmm. don't so do I. out of context but I, I do enjoy the attention to detail on this game yeah hoagie is like this is a prime cut of meat what is it? And I want his t-shirt actually. In fact, I might actually make his t-shirt into a t-shirt for my shop because I really, really, really want it. If you do that, I will buy that t-shirt. <gasps> yes! Is... Okay, I'll do it. It's done. You it's done. Because what is it? Like it's just a funky, flipping yeah. I'll do multiple colours too. Hello, Sophie. Welcome in. <gasps> is that... Me amor? Is that the cake? It is it the cake. It is! Then again, uh, the queen of cake. Sophie. Mm. Mi corazón is actually a nice, even nicer thing to say to somebody. Do you know Ben Franklin? An Espanol. Oh, the last time I tried to I say Spanish words to Sophie, she just got really angry at my bad pronunciation. So I am. Um, I'm, I'm not going to. I can be. Literally, one day I'll be like really on it. With my with my th 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 and my rolled R's and whatever, and then other days I'll be absolutely shite and just say things like an English person. I'm not even saying that, Luna, because Lu even Luna got angry at me because I can't what, pronounce. Quesadilla. Yeah. Queso means cheese. I don't know what dia means, but queso means cheese. Queso. 
me gusta. The case. The, the, the guesser. Oh, you're getting sick and all hot under the collar. I'm steady on. <laughs> well, it's me and Chicken are like co founders of the first club, so I'm not surprised. My nearly indistinguishable uh, sons have decided that they Snake, did you say it horrifically? Apparently. Uh, I did, yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with that. You tried. I tried my best. That's fine. I failed. Yeah. Um, we've been watching, um... We've... Marv, stop showing off! We are talking about how lovely you are and how amazing you are at languages earlier as well. Always jealous of how good Moff is at... Oh. Webcam. Like, just... Incredible. And Crayab. It's so annoying. <laughs> Moff, you didn't stop. It's too early. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I love it. What are you inventing? I will eventually actually continue my lessons in Spanish so I can actually speak it fluently, but... Wait, are you saying chicken is my favorite? Cheese is my favorite. Chicken is my favorite. Can you say quesadilla? Horrifically, Snake. Anything you say is pure magic. Hey! I'm taking the mic. I, uh, I... vowed to never say that word again. Okay. That's fine. You, you are exempt. Uh, um, not quite. Just, oh, is it lewd? Just because I, I, val I value, uh, I value my friendship with Sophie above my above anything else. Yeah. As we all I should. I hear that. As we all yeah. should. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, John Hancock. Uh, yeah, there he is. I feel like I, I should know who he is. Uh, I've been. Oh, like chicken in my mouth. Killed him I in Assassin's yeah. Creed, maybe. Yeah. Oh. It's funny, right? Because I I literally watched um, uh, Hannah, who previously of, also of the Yogs cast and now just full time Twitch streamer, um, playing through the is is it the third one, Assassin's Creed Three? He's in. He's yeah, in. I think he's in that's that one. The, uh, the one where you play as the uh, Connor. Connor, the Native the American. Native American guy. Yeah, he's my favorite too. He's Cole. stunning. Cole. But I literally watched the playthrough of that and then played this. <laughs> And I was like, oh, the <laughs> the crossover in character design is hilarious. <laughs> like, the, the, the difference in them is so funny. Well, I keep asking Jeffrey mm -mm. to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Saf, say hello. Oh my god. Uh, I love this. I love this so much. He's going to give the log to starving he's children. He's going to give the log to starving yep. children? He's um I don't get any respect around here. <laughs> I bet it's George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was called. <laughs> we get some heat in here. Oh my god. I love how they all talk like 90s characters. Well, so uh, his character as well is a um like a Jewish trope. Oh okay. Um which in Yiddish is called a nebisha. It's like somebody who's like always like there's something wrong with them all the time and they're just super feeble and um weak and can't do anything so him like complaining is like a real and also in that accent is like a real kind of like um nebisha trope and i love it so much uh, by the way we're <laughs> playing day of the tentacle which is mm -hmm. available on games pass so anyone who has games pass uh, they can download this game and play it now uh, i'm really enjoying it uh, I've just it's muy bien it's amazing and, uh, so how do we awesome awesome blanket awesome there? blanket there dude thank you it i know how you do it but it's long dear old colorblind aunt patty is there a quest we can do before we wrap up because we've got 20 um, minutes left i guess uh, or should we just explore and talk to more people we can explore and talk to more people because this well, one I think I is go you've got to make Washington who's by the window right if you walk over to your right he's on I'm pointing the wrong way yeah keep going that way um oh, he's there, there. He <laughs> you have to make him chatter his teeth because then they think me. he's cold and then they put the log on the fire yes I thought you might like his voice oh, acting you're like George Washington I love much Hoagie. Much like I fell in love with Hoagie. Wife, Mrs. I love him so much. He's my favorite. Whoa. Indeed. 
I'm gonna make that hoagie t-shirt a reality. Please do. Uh, just put like, whoa, in like the <gasps> font as well on there or something like maybe. Oh my god. I'm very yeah. Well, I love him. President or the education president? Oh, I've no idea, Beats. I've no idea about American history. Uh, Wait, no. didn't George Washington... Yeah, they make a whole thing about his wooden teeth in a bit. About the flipping cherry tree. Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Yeah. Well, I am quite the adept tree cutter. Men still tell tales of my youthful prowess. <laughs> Talks a bit like George W. Bush, doesn't he? In this. Yeah, like a little bit. Kind of like... <laughs> He's, my, my, my. He's got that kind of like... Ah, voice. I love it. Oh, I'm do, a bit crazy. Do you want to be rude to him? I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Yeah. Always. I lost it. You couldn't mm -mm -mm. cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Sassy hoagie. Have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. Oh. As you can see, there isn't. Oh. I only cut down cherry trees. Family I remember now. You understand, cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. <laughs> Can we just talk for a second about the word kumquat? <laughs> if you must. Hello, Noxonate. What? What the? What the fuck is a kumquat? I don't know. What is it? Chat. What is a kumquat? Is it a fruit? If it is a fruit, what does it take? Uh, it, we're going I'm down like, a weird is it, avenue is it like an equivalent is there an equivalent fruit in the uk you're like hey you know how you call a um a zuc an aubergine a zucchini it okay, is a burps. fruit it is a fruit uh it is a fruit sophia's never eaten one though it's a fruit i've never eaten citrus Crystal. japonica yeah but like oh citrus looks a little bit like a smaller satsuma oh that's that not, makes it super cute. That's not as bad as I expected. I thought it was going to be like a guava, you know? That kind of a, hey, a pear Tom melon. And Spiffy, my name's Hoagie. <laughs> Tall, dark, well, and spiffy. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. I love his oh, voice. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Could you start a Could fire? You start a fire, please. I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for <laughs> yeah. Only the one log. <laughs> no more logs for you. And Tommy. Thomas. My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule <laughs> filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. Ah, exactly 400 years, eh? Hmm. How good. So, how appropriate. Going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. <laughs> I just gotta put a log in the time capsule. <laughs> I love them. I also love the turkey picture that they have on the wall. Yeah. And then it's... the bird is a smoke detector. So when... Yeah. I just... Yeah. I also like how uh, Hancock was it. His eyes are directly looking at the player at all times because yeah. they're like center focus. It's like being yeah. quite off putting at the same time as being it's quite so adorable. off putting. It, uh, given that, like, you when you're talking to him, he's that. supposed to be looking at Hoagie, Maybe not you. And then he's looking the straight at you, and you're like, spirit. okay. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. <laughs> I like his little face, it's like right up in the top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Very long neck. <laughs> Yeah, like you are so right though. The character design in this is so kind good because like... they all look so different from each other. I, uh, this came out in '93, didn't it? I think it said on Games Pass '93, '94. It was early on. Yeah. '90s, I think. Uh, I do wonder whether like the animation she at the time saw how successful this was and like the vibe and took that. Yeah. Maybe were mm -hmm. influenced by, it, particularly in the voice acting. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, these voices, it doesn't matter who's, do, like, doesn't matter who the actual actor is, these kinds of voices, like, but I think also things like, um, 
Like Sesame Street and um, the Muppets and stuff had excellent voice acting that was taken and developed even further. Because don't you think Tommy sounds like a little bit of like a nasally warped version of Kermit the Frog? Yeah, I also love the Muppets. Fozzie Bear is my <gasps> hero. Yeah. I love Fozzie Bear. I am. Um, I definitely identify and relate to Animal. Um, <laughs> you play the drums? on so many levels. Um, I want to. I just don't. <laughs> I would love it. I'm quite coordinated with drum, with drumming, like with my fingers and my feet at the same time. I, I so I'd probably be alright. I, I can't play drums at all. I've never been able to get the rhythm. I just don't have a space for a drum kit. And I know you could get an electric drum kit, but it's not, it's not the same. Not the same. It's, no. You need those big drums. I want to be a Phil Collins, yo. It's just loud as fuck and just... Yeah. Just hitting stuff, yo. Just hitting stuff. Oh, and I also like, um, oh my god, you, Beaker. God, what? I love Beaker. What's going to happen later? Yeah, the little me, 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 Yeah, love him. I just like how his mouth opens like that. I like the chef as well. I just love the Muppets. <gasps> oh, Swedish chef. Oh my god. I love him so much. And the spaghetti one, the one with the spaghetti comes to life, is, is my favourite scene with the Swedish chef. I think I've seen he calls it. He calls it Spooky. Spooky! <laughs> and it's the best. It's like I a little puppet want... meatballs. <laughs> I, don't want... I just know that the Muppet Christmas Carol is like a staple of this household you have at Christmas. To. Yeah, you have to. Uh, even Michael Caine seems into that film. Of course. Like, of course. I can't Wouldn't you be? It. I am. Um... Oh my god. I like the rat in that. What's he called? Oh. oh my god, what's the rat called? Shit. I want to say Gonzo, but it's not Gonzo. Yeah, we're talking about uh, the Muppets. The guy with the cookie nose. And, and how great, because the voice acting is so good. Rizzo, that, Rizzo the rat. Rizzo! There you go. Yeah, love me a bit of Rizzo. Love it. He's so cute. But I just think rats are cute though, so... And I like his little nasally voice too. I think I have a thing for nasally voices, I like them. <laughs> I think they work well. You can do a lot with them. I tell you what, I did quite a few voices for flipping Dicey Dungeons, which is like a, a game I got on essentially a Humble Bundle <laughs> at Christmas. <laughs> I love doing voices. And you're playing Dungeons and Dragons after this, right? I am, yeah. Is that on Twitch or is that just a personal...? That's uh, just a private game, but the um, my, character's, my character's German. Okay. Um, so... Um, I do like little bits of German and then just speak in a sort of like, I guess it would be more of like a, um, like a Yiddish accent, but essentially it's a German accent-ish. I'd love to play Dungeons and Dragons, but I've just never like been in the right circumstance, I guess, or known the right people. I, I like the idea oh. of... Come play. It's so fun. It's so fun. <laughs> And I like, I like my character a lot. How do I look Jeez. at my inventory? Loads of stuff! Yeah, I've got loads of stuff. Oh, was that Bernard's? No, no this that's is, gotta this be yours. Is, this is Hoagie's. Oh. Yeah, bucket and Nibna. Pattern application. Wait, no, that got... Pattern application. Wasn't that... Didn't Bernard pick that up? Oh no, flushed it! Isn't it? Oh, can I show that to Fingy then? The scientist downstairs, I wonder. <gasps> oh, for what? the battery. So you can plug it in. So you can plug your Portageon in. Hang on, my scene collection has just changed me. Mission failed. <laughs> um, what, what's the thing they say in um? Oh my God, what is it? Mortal Kombat when you die. Fatality. Fatality. Um, yeah. We are back though. I don't know what happened there. OBS switched my scene collection. 
midstream. Oh, how weird. Which I've never had happen before. Uh, oh, he's a weird one. OBS is a weird one. So that happened, uh, but we're back and we're about to hopefully, maybe... Make a super battery. I mean, hell, I'm excited. Uh, oh, the mummy! <laughs> I love him so much. He has a little tricorn hat on. Oh, we can talk. I love his hat. What's up? Don't feel yeah, he like don't... talking. <laughs> he doesn't reply. Probably right. Hoogie straight up talks to him for ages, though, if you want That's him to. Cool. <laughs> I love Hoogie so much. <laughs> like, you have conversation options. It's great. Great hat. Oh, do you think George would be, like, well pissy if, um, not your cat, Lucas? Oh. Um, do you think he'd be well pissy if I did Hoagie's t shirt? He didn't give a fuck now, he's like salt to Disney, hasn't he? Oh, fair. Oh, God. He, he's oh, like I had... so detached from it. He's like got the best train of thought, actually, because he's like. Yeah. He did like. Well, his wife got interviewed and he was in the background, so of course they were like, can we ask George a question? He's like. Yeah. Yeah, sure, because George speaks <laughs> like that, if you ever have heard George Lucas. Yeah, it's like Kermit the Frog, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and uh, they were like, do you feel sad about saying Star Wars? He's like, no, because that took up my entire life, and I have, I have a child and a wife, and I get to see them. And I'm like, I admire you. He's like, I have a life now. This is great. Put up with Star like, Wars fans about... constantly shouting at me, or enjoy quality family time with all the money in the world. Literally. Uh, oh my god. Easy decision to make. And like every time anybody I buys a Star Wars Lego, idea. like you get to check. Yeah, that you was... buy a Millennium Falcon Lego, Lego set, for like two hundred quid or whatever, and he just gets a check. I think that was the only thing he still has rights to is the merchandise rights. Yeah. Because he's a smart man. Oh my god! Yeah, always get the merchandise rights. And this is why he had droids in it, right? Yeah. One of the reasons he had droids in it, especially in the re in the, um, in the prequel prequel series, there was like a billion different types of droid, especially the droidicas, the ones that roll. I love those. Like, of course, of course, that's a merchandise decision, right? And you know what? Because I it then worked. bought five of them Same. and rolled them around my friggin' living room. Because you, uh, I used to try. My mum was like, "You've already got this action figure." I'm like, "Yeah, but have you seen how many battle droids there are?" And yeah. you need like five to have You a... need multiple, otherwise like, what's the point? You can't just have one. It's not a battle. You can't just have one. Yeah. It's like Clone Wars. Right. It's not like clone what single person time? fist fight outside of the pub. No, I think that was the Captain America movie, Civil War. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was I, a low blow. I, I didn't like that film. Just but I've said that multiple times. That's my current like go to for like. Yeah, like I, I kind of, that film like could have not happened, couldn't it? Civil disagreement. I, I feel like calling it lately because. Yeah, it's just like. Not much of a war. I like it because it's just I like seeing the characters that I like. What are you just, doing? Just like looking at them. So I was like, I can watch this film, but I wouldn't say it's my favourite film. And like literally, you realise there's no point to it because when you have the, oh my god, what film is it? Um, Endgame? No. What's one before that? Infinity War. Where they're in the flipping thing. Oh my god, I can't talk today. I didn't Doctor watch Strange him. I didn't watch and him Hulk's just come that. back. And it's like you've got the, he's got the phone. He's like, oh yeah, me and what's his face had a falling out, and it's like right. that's it. It's that whole film in a nutshell. Me and Captain America had a tiny bit of a falling out. What was it you needed for that and that's it. Again. Oil, vinegar, and gold. Oil, vinegar, mm -hmm. and gold. You okay. You've well, got, got oil. oil. Vinegar. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. <gasps> I know about how to get the vinegar. I don't know about the gold, though. I've completely forgotten about the gold. But I know about the vinegar. It's time you wine me. How do we get the, uh... Meanwhile, that the president has to be a human being. Oh, I love Bionicles, Please, I was really into Bionicle. 
You're right. Oh, Bionicle. Did, didn't they have a series? They had a straight to DVD movie. You could buy it as uh, I bought. Oh. I think they had like on the website, they had like this whole. Do you remember like, some of them used to come with like it. mini CDs? They were like little tiny CDs. Yeah. And had like. Oh my god. Like chart, like early like flash games on them. Oh my god. So good. So good. This is what kids do not understand these days. Like I was taught. Oh my god, what was it? They think Snake is the is the game that you can get online, like the like fla the online flash game. We remember. Didn't the realize it was a mobile phone game. Bastards. George sleeps here. <laughs> they don't even know. Flip it. Oh, you'll love his um his cleaning ladies. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse <laughs> me, Mr. Washington. Like, could they not have got an Irish person to do a voice? <laughs> Oy vey. Uh, speaking of bad Irish accents, have you ever heard Piers Brosnan, who is an Irish man, try and do an Look, Irish accent? Look, it's Max! Accent? Oh, I know. Oh, Look, yeah. Look, it's, it's Max! Or whatever his name is. Uh, from Sam from... and Max? I told you yeah. guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you've got another design change for the flag. It turns out that she didn't actually make the flag. I think. They did a lot of research into her about her making the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Technical. Uh Could you have a chrome plated bald eagle robot on it? I love it. <laughs> Shit, yeah. How about with a skull with like scorpions in it? What about a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe? Oh. For God's sake. <laughs> it's gotta be that one. Give right? the people what they want. A babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Mm hmm. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. <laughs> yes. Oh, this poor lady. And I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Beautiful. Oh, so we can put a pattern on the table and. Mm hmm. Gosh, I never want to mess with history. Sure, you do, Hoagie. Yes, you do. Come on now. You can make it more metal, dude. Kite clans. I don't understand that technical stuff. Wine bottle. He's got a penguin calendar. That'll be useful. Yeah. I'd love that calendar. I'd like a penguin calendar. Oh, penguin. So cute. It's got a little penguin baby as well. A little fluffy penguin baby. <laughs> you don't? It looks like he doesn't wear any. I don't think he does. No. Oh, the horse. Oh, I think that's where you get the gold from. I think he has gold teeth. You have to talk to him. Oh yeah, he's got the gold teeth. Oh, hi yourself. <laughs> nice yeah, he <tea>. talks. <laughs> Thanks. I paid quite a bit for him. It's uh, like Mr. Ed. I didn't think horses could talk. Horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Never think of that. You mean mm -hmm. horses have been snubbing me my whole <laughs> life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Yep. Uh, Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> What's in I love him so much. Like someone's dentures were in here. Oh, hey, of course, dentures. We try wine. I don't wanna. Nope. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna. He don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> Spaghetti horse. Mr. Ed. What is Mr. Ed? Uh, Mr. Ed is a TV show from America. Um, did I say Mr. Ed? Surely you two have to remember that show. Which one? Stop. Which one <laughs> Bitch, I'm a hundred years old. 
I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us. He's a talking horse. We are Call Mr. Ed. Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? <laughs> Even our dear father can't tell us apart. Oh, that sculpture looks like uh, Guy Brush Freepwood. Is that his name? The pirate from, uh, well, the wannabe pirate from Monkey Island? Oh my god! It is, That's isn't why. It? Yeah. So. I did even think of that. I was too busy looking at the hunk in the middle. <laughs> or the, model. the great hunk and hunk. With the uh, big shard of marble tastefully covering her. Yeah. Cover his bits and bobs. I'm the model. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? <laughs> She's 99 years old. She won't accept no. youth. <laughs> no, you most I am really, really not. old. Everybody just thinks I'm get your body young. Right anyway, I'm you literally 100. Slabs of marble together, but then your statue would have <gasps> seen in it. Red. It would have one. So anyway. rude. Let Hoagie be a model. Don't right? Friggin' don't shaming don't Hoagie for the way that he looks. You cow. Justice for Hoagie. Yeah. Jesus. Man, okay, if I, unload in here. I will have no body shaming. Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. My god, sounds like fine art wankers. Oh, no, marble no offense, barmies. We are quite well supplied with medium, thank you. From. Worst characters okay. in the game. Oh, they're bastards, aren't they? Yeah, Barmies is a fine artist. Do you not know that? Lurkin. Uh, Barmies is lurking, or was about. Uh... I'm always up for slagging Barmies off. Oh, me too. I love it. <laughs> Favorite pastime. There he what is. What did he... I say? Oh, it was when I was I was mowing the lawn in um, House Flipper, and I said to, to Barmies, "Are you I dumb?" <laughs> and I remember it well. And I was like, "Oh, I feel bad now. He's such a nice guy. I'm just a cow." How nice for Honestly, same new cat. I'd love to see Barmy's art. Everybody. Well, I did. Actually, um, I put a painting up on um, yes, also course. in House Flipper, well, goodbye. and I I studied it and I talked about it and I would love to study and talk about it. Um, Barmy's art. Like Barmy's, if you could like put it up, I'll do like a. Sorry, mm, yes, I can really. I'll do like a knobby too review of your art. This is this is your art live from House Flipper with Kofi. <gasps> you can have that yeah. idea for free. Yeah, I'll have that. I'll take that. I'll run with that. The England game is finished now and ready to be an art twat. <laughs> uh, Hello, well, yes, it's me, your resident art twat. Well, unfortunately, Quoty, mm. is this going to break OBS? Hopefully this isn't going to break OBS. Please don't break OBS. I beg you. We've got to come back over to this scene. Uh, yeah, because it's time, innit? you got to get off into d and I've got to get off and get ready for later. By the way, guys, <gasps> later. I'm so excited. Me and Cactus... Are going to be talking BS, possibly some other people, maybe. But at mm -hmm. least me and Cactus, first time Cactus has ever been on this channel. What an honor. Uh, oh my god, be... really? Yeah. He's going to be on This Is Your Game. Uh, I'm just... So many Ooh. people, everyone's just like, I want to be on, I want to be on. And I'm like, everyone's so cool. Uh, but yeah, me and Cactus talking BS uh, about Microsoft, E3, Bethesda, 5 30 pm. Oh. Uh, very, very fun. Uh, but Quoty, a little bit of uh, a little bit of something there. Yes, darling. <laughs> How have you found revisiting uh, Dead Sense Call? Uh, flip and love it, and I I've just bit like there's so many little story storylines in this that I've seen that I now now I have to go and play it. I really, really really want to uh uh carry on and complete this honestly it's definitely my type of game i'm surprised i haven't played it yet uh also you haven't been annoying at all beetle guy we love you ninja kong coming in right at the end hey you did ninja oh geek party hello baby and drew as well well don't worry folks coming in just now we're gonna i'm gonna shoot you off uh to moth sillas for the afters uh, <gasps> yes but yeah, uh, Quoty, this has been your game. Your game has been Day of the Tentacle. Uh, mm. Thank you for appearing on the show. Uh, before we go, though, let us know once more who are you, what are you getting up to this week? 
Um, my name's Quoti. I'm a Twitch streamer and illustrator and also teacher, but that's by the by. Um, and this week coming, I'll be streaming Minecraft on Monday. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a Batman Telltale game, which I paused specifically so that my video wouldn't crap out for this stream. <laughs> uh, Batman Telltale is very, very good. I, I enjoyed it a lot anyway. <laughs> That's yeah, be a lot I've of played fun. it once before. Um, I have no idea where it's gone um, on my PC, but I'm re-downloading it because it's free with Prime at the moment. So I thought, bugger it, bugger it, I'm gonna play it. Um, but it's been my pleasure coming on, hanging out with you for a bit. Um, we should do this again sometime. I would love for to. Sure. We, we, <laughs> you mentioned you're a fan of Broken Sword. We should, play, <gasps> we should play Broken Sword. I think. I'll find the one that I really like. There's one that's like my absolute favorite one. I think it's downstairs, I've got it on PS2, so I'll find it, and I'll tell you which one it is, because it's so good. The group. It's so good. Yeah, Barmy's one of, it was Barmy's game choice for This Is Your Game as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, great series. Uh, but Such a good series. Folks, we're going to go off to Moff Dylan now, show lots of love, I know you will. Now to the official after party of the stream. Uh, thank you for <laughs> appearing, Sophie. Thank you once again, Quote, for wanting to be on the show. Uh, it's honestly, I, I get so nervous when I send people the, like, hey, would you want to appear on this is your game? Oh. And then everyone's just been like, yes, yes, yes. Yes, uh, oh my God, please, yes. <laughs> uh, so thank you very much for appearing. Uh, I can't wait to see. Carry on Twitch and all the new merch, the Hoagie merch. Come and see Oh my you. God, I've taken a screenshot. Yeah. It's, it's done. It's I'm happening. doing it. It's happening. I'm doing it now. Uh, but yeah, remember, <laughs> folks, and for the new people coming in, I'll be back live later. 5:30 p.m. with the wonderful cactus next maybe some <laughs> other people uh for microsoft e3 press briefing thing this is your game so oh, cool. is just so kind uh I, I love doing this show i'm happy to have it back uh it's remember it's not two weeks break it's on next week as well with suko nami who is wonderful after that it's going to be projo and after that we're doing a special late night one with flossy the flossy one is going to be just so good i'm really excited for that one uh, they're mm -hmm. all going to be great, but in particular, I'm really happy to, to have Flossie on. Thank oh my you god, all. yes. Once again, let's get the raid started. And uh, yeah, Quoty, thank you so much. Uh, oh, thank you. Really means a lot. Thank you. And uh, enjoy D&D later. Oh my god, I will. I'm so excited. Right. So excited. Right, folks. <laughs> Bye from us. Bye, everyone. Mm.